you, you said that Nick is a white supremacist. I'm curious to like what he said specifically that makes you think that. Well, I did hear leaked audio of you comparing a uh, white woman having sex with a dog Beastie to having Eddie. sex with a black man and saying that it was basically the same level of degeneracy. And that was like leaked audio. So I felt like that was kind of telling about what you might say behind the scenes. Yeah. And maybe know, that was a joke. Well, Come well, off. no, Come I mean, I, I, I can explain that. About... It didn't sound like a joke. Well, hang on. I can explain the context of that. And, and the thing is, I'm going to answer that. But first, I want to say the better question is, because I saw your stream yesterday, full disclosure, Adam, on Twitch, where you went over, you went to the SPLC, which right. is an Who, advocacy group. And I will, I will acknowledge that the SPLC has deemed a lot of people and, and different podcasts that I enjoy, like basically hate groups. So I, I don't put a lot of faith in their opinion off rip so i did go there to get some information on stream well, but i'm not i'm not saying that i deem them a respectable organization well and 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 that's fair enough but i'm saying the point is and and this is the question that should be asked about that they're advocates that's an advocacy group and they're paid to mine i've been doing streaming for six years i produce thousands and thousands of hours of content they're paid to mine you know the 10 or 15 worst things 10 seconds, like, let, let me ask you, you don't know the, the circumstances surrounding that clip, but it was provided there for you in a 10 second bite for you to get a certain impression of me. And that clip is from five or six years ago. I know you might say, well, it doesn't matter how old it is because of the content is so offensive, but, but it, it sort of begs a certain question, which is, you know, why does this exist? Who's paying for this? To what end? Why is the SPLC? Because at the time I'm an 18 year old kid the circumstances about that is I was at a job training and it was like 3 a.m. It's late at night. It was for a political thing. And I was saying that I'm against race mixing. I think that that people should marry their own kind. I want a white wife. I, that's a value that I have. My race matters to me. My identity matters to me. I want my kids to look like me. I want my grandkids to look like me. I think that's a positive value that I think other people should share as well. Um, I don't judge people that are mixed race. I mean, some people say I'm mixed race. My dad's half Mexican. My mom's Italian. Some people would say that's mixed race. Obviously, I don't hate people that are mixed race or, or people that race mix, but it's just not, it's just a value for me. And anyway, so I was explaining that. And this girl picks up her phone because I'm saying something that's contra because it's, you can't be against race mixing, even though everybody was and, and every race other than whites still is. Even black people say that all the time. I want to have black kids. I want to raise a no, black no, family. No, no. I'm they black and proud. If black people say that, nobody blinks an eye. But when Nick says it, people are automatically assuming that it's something racist. No, no, you and I think I think in that context, I think that that could be a joke. And I think that if you record any white kids Call of Duty lobby when they're 18 years old, or you record anybody at 3 a.m. when they're not knowing, I've made jokes like that. I make jokes about every single race. It doesn't mean that you're a racist person. But nowadays, you have to be very careful at any moment because you never know when someone's going to record it. Well, wait, but she, so, so the point is I'm saying like, so that that's the part that wasn't recorded as I'm saying I'm against race mixing. Well, she sees me saying something that you're not supposed to say and says, I'm going to cancel this guy. So she gets her phone out and starts recording and says, Hey, Nick, so do you think that having sex with a black guy is the same as having sex with a dog? So I didn't say that. that. Those words were not my words. I was saying I'm against race mixing. She gets the phone out and phrases it, that frames it that way. And I said, no. I said, no. And Adam, you saw the clip. I said, no, it's not the same. I said, but they both be degenerate. I said, they both be wrong. And then the same way that I would say, yeah, incest is wrong. Is incest the same as bestiality? No. Is rape the same as bestiality? You know, these are all things which I would They're consider both degenerate. wrong. They're yeah. Both degenerate. And, but the, but Nico just it, hops on board and is basically like, oh yeah, it's fucked up. For I heard him to... explain this whole thing before. He, but you think he, race mixing up. is bad? I don't think race mixing is bad, but I I respect his opinion to think that he wants to further the white race and have white kids. See, I'm not, not going to judge what he wants to do. I would have thought in any other timeline that Nick saying like, oh, white people should just be with other white people. I would have thought that that would be a super controversial statement, but it's hard for me to really take it that controversially when we've had people like Tariq Nasheed on here who clearly says the same thing about yeah. black people. Kevin Samuels basically said the same thing yeah, about black no, people. People, had, people say that all the time. That's The, the problem wasn't that. White people don't it, say that. A, white people are not allowed to say that. He just said it. I would, that's why he's canceled. He's on a no-fly list. It's but just hard for I'm me saying. to really take issue with him saying that when I feel like there's so many people of other races who basically say the same yeah, thing publicly indeed. and aren't really like held in any kind Accountable. of negative light no. for it. 
I think that's why Nick was saying that it's easier to be a minority nowadays. I think you, when he talks about that, he's talking about freedom of speech. I think I, I have a, I'm a protected class being a Asian, black and white. I'm able to talk about a, about a lot of things and make jokes that Nick is not capable of, but even then you could still tote the line and get canceled as uh, we've both been terminated. Right. But, uh, yeah. I, I still haven't seen you. I, I disagree. I've heard uh, destiny bring up that same instance. I'm curious. So like, what do you think Nick has said? That's made you think he's a white supremacist besides that. What about um, <laughs> the uh, the black people's hands should be cut off at the airport? No. Oh. <laughs> well, Why I, I don't all mean that. <laughs> like, what, in what context? Well, he, because it was part of a joke. It's part of because it's I'm talking rule. about it. I mean, because rule. I'm talking about how, you know, <laughs> there was this development where uh, I think it was American Airlines or one of the big airlines said that. Uh, gay men or or well it's not just gay men it says that men can wear the girls flight attendant uniform and the girls can wear the male flight attendant uniform all right people we just hit 300,000 subscribers you know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers so that little red button tap it tap in appreciate y'all